2018 Maserati Ghibli Review The Good Points of Maserati Ghibli Elegant Styling Prestigious Appeal Performance Grade to Operate a Vehicle The Bad Points of Maserati Ghibli Interior Quality Lacking Expensive to acquire. Equally expensive for run. Rear space limited. The nameplate may be familiar, it goes back to 1966, though the Maserati Ghibli ushered in a lot of firsts for your proud and heritage laden company in the event it arrived in 2014. Using the larger Quattroports chassis. It's once the company has produced two four-door saloons concurrently, and even more tellingly it turned out also the first Maserati which has a diesel engine. The Ghibli increased against some fierce rivals though, in side shape from the BMW 5 Series, Mercedes-Benz D-Class, Audi A6 and Jaguar XF all very capable executive saloons that cost a tremendous amount less compared to Ghibli in the first place. Engines there are three engines available for the Ghibli, two twin-turbo V6 petrol engines provided by Ferrari along with a 3.0-liter single-turbo V6 diesel bought in from Italian engine builder VM Motori. You can choose from 350 horsepower and 430 horsepower versions from the petrol engines, but both will sprint from 06 to miles per hour in around 5 seconds and sound glorious while they do so on account of active exhaust valves. Unfortunately, rapidly Maserati active sound system, that also uses valves inside the exhaust to reinforce the noise under higher throttle inputs, the diesel can't match its petrol brethren for oral drama though actually it does sound pretty much as good if not greater than many diesel rivals but has impressive performance. It's one in the most powerful single turbo 3.0-liter diesels available, with 275 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque, these produced from only 2,000 revolutions per minute, offering more shove than either from the more powerful petrols. The 062 miles per hour sprint is done in 6.3 seconds with every shift in the 8-speed automatic gearbox completed smoothly and quickly. Only when pulling clear of rest can the box get confused and feel jerky, plus in stop-start traffic. We also think it is as quite simple to put the automobile straight into park when, in reality, we had been after reverse. The variety of V6 power plants means the Ghibli isn't as reasonable running as many of its cheaper rivals especially in petrol form, but which goes somehow to explaining why the Ghibli is more expensive to purchase in the primary place. More power, more drama and even more exclusivity. Agile chassis, agile design. Maserati enjoys its GT cars, and although the Ghibli sports four doors it's been deliberately styled to get recognizable being a sporting four-door coupe. That means the roof line is 20 mm below the Quattroport it shares its chassis with, even though the overall length is 290 mm shorter. Extra width for the front and rear tracks adds to the automobile's aggressive stance. That said, it will sport a disproportionately long nose associated the incredibly short bootlet, which looks stunted from some angles. Still, about the move the Ghibli looks wonderfully mean and distinctive, much more so after its 2017 facelift, not least as a result of the prominent grille and aggressively sharp headlights. All nevertheless the diesel 51 hours 49 minutes sport a 50 hours 50 minutes weight distribution for agile handling, and adaptive skyhook suspension is definitely an option on particular models. Whatever model you obtain there's either regular Ghibli, along with Grand Lusso and Grand Sport you'll look for a mechanical limited slip differential for greater rear traction, and about the road the Ghibli generates an abundance of grip. Quick direction changes are little problem, and it's very easy to forget simply how much car you happen to be throwing around, 
nearly 2 tons. Body roll is noticeable at extreme cornering angles, but overall its incredibly well controlled and ride comfort at faster speeds is related to the best inside the L. Luxurious interior. Bold, beautifully trimmed and cozy interiors, together with that analog clock, are already a feature of Montsertus as well as a degree, the Ghibli is not any different. Those employed to Fiat and Chrysler Group products will recognize some minor switchgear in addition to the touchscreen infotainment system from Lauer Ernst products, and many poor quality plastics they make an appearance with surprising regularity. However, certain areas are executed very well, with supple and soft Italian leather upholstery, an Alcantar headlining and real carbon fiber to the center console a pricey option and center with the steering wheel rim. The aluminium gearshift paddles behind it really are a joy to make use of, and produce with them the main benefit of increased control in the gearbox. The front seats are seriously comfortable though, notably if you specify the 8-way power adjustment. Nevertheless the heavily sculpted rear bench is tight for a legroom and extremely only suitable for just two people as a result of the high transmission tunnel. At least the 500 liter boot is competitive, although small opening may limit the dimensions of some intended cargo. The Verdict If you're considering a Ghibli then you'll have to have the thick end of 50,000 pounds as well as a few choice option boxes ticked will tickle that ticket price beyond £60,000. That's a lot of cash, and crucially among this car's biggest problems, rivals like the BMW 5 Series, Mercedes A-Class and Jaguar XF can provide similar performance, efficiency, equipment and appeal for any lot less. That said, not many are as distinctive or command such romanticism about the badge, for those times you want to be noticeable with your executive car choice you have to wouldn't chastise you for picking the Italian. Maserati Ghibli Review Three engines, these all are V6. Two twin turbo petrols along with a diesel. All provide ample performance. If speed can be your thing then this performance available from the Maserati Ghibli will impress, whether or not you choose petrol or diesel. Ferrari V6 Petrol Engines Built by Ferrari at its Marinello plant, the 3.0-liter V6 units are fundamentally a similar, together with the top end Ghibli S offering more power from the twin turbochargers. That means the range topper pushes out 430 horsepower, which together with 580 newton meters of torque means the Maserati can complete the 062 miles per hour dash in 4.9 seconds before topping out at 178 miles per hour. It'll do so that has a real roar too, as a result of the Maserati active sound system which opens valves inside exhaust at high RPM or engine load to lift the volume on the engine note while ensuring it remains civilized and quiet in a constant cruise or at low speed. Choose the less powerful 3.0-liter V6 and also you're not going to feel shortchanged though, because this model of Ghibli still produces 350 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque, so can complete a similar benchmark sprint in only 5.5 seconds. V6 Ghibli Diesel the Ghibli is the primary Maserati because the firm's creation in 1914 make use of a diesel engine. In fact the first time the Italian firm has fitted a diesel engine into one among its cars, and it's been with us since 1914. But while it's a lot of diesel in name, it's a great deal more petrol-like in the performance, the 062 miles per hour sprint takes only 6.3 seconds. That's thanks partly to your headline 275 horsepower power figure, though mostly towards the massive 600 newton meters of torque provided by 2000 revolutions per minute. It even sounds good, once you've got a night initial startup clatter and hang it in sport mode plus the mid-range shove ensures that on a twisting back road, despite the presence of slower people to pass, it never feels without grunt.
8 speed automatic gearbox. There's no choice for a manual gearbox for the Ghibli, so whatever engine or trim you choose, you'll come with an 8 speed automatic. The nice thing about it is it's a considerable unit, with well spaced ratios plus a mostly smooth gear change, the optional paddles behind the controls giving excellent manual control when you wish, and feel good. However, We've seen that in crawling traffic, the Ghibli's gearbox can transmit an evident shunt through for the cabin mainly because it decides which gear to tug away in after slowing. It's nothing too alarming, but doesn't feel as if something you ought to be experiencing in the luxurious performance saloon. Excellent body control for a real big car. Little body roll and quick steering. Adaptive damping alters handling. At only a shade under 5 meters long the Ghibli can't certainly be a small car, but Maserati's sporting heritage has clearly played part in the actual way it performs. It's no lazy saloon. Certainly periodically you forget simply how much mass approximately and behind you. On a smoothly driven a dry road the Ghibli generates impressive amounts of grip. Therefore you barely notice its size unless it's an exceptionally narrow street. There is a few initial body roll while you tip the vehicle and to a turn the optional adaptive dampers will improve this but once devoted to your line the Ghibli remains flat and stable and a breeze to manage. In fact it feels more agile laptop or computer has any straight away to. Though more steering feel throughout the rim could well be welcomed and around the ragged edge since its curb weight comes home into play. Drive it beyond its natural limits plus the stability control system will intervene, making certain all remains under control, however the auto's integrated vehicle control IVC product is there to counteract this happening in the initial place. With it turned off the rear end will relinquish grip and do it without much warning requiring quick hands and decisive corrective action to help keep contact with all the black stuff. At least the six-piston front brakes are up on the job of hauling along the Ghibli speed should all this go wrong, plus there is refreshingly little dive or squat under braking or acceleration. Plush interior in places. Some materials disappointing. Easy to acquire comfortable. The dominating element with the cabin has to get the 8.4-inch touchscreen display inside the center console, employed for audio, climate, navigation and telephone functions. It's bright, simple to watch is actually clear graphics, such as Garmin-based Sabnav interface and maps, though we did incorporate some problems controlling streamed Bluetooth audio from my iPhone with any consistency and occasionally found some from the controls and menus just a little counterintuitive. And naturally there's the conventional Maserati clock perched atop the dash, which within our car was covered in fine-grade Paltrona frau leather, which you'll either love or find being a retro pastiche don't required in a very modern motor car. Those who've spent time in other Fiat Jeep Chrysler products will recognize some with the minor switch gear, nevertheless for most this won't be apparent. What you may stumble upon is simply how thick and chunky the leader is, the rim on ours which has a thin band of carbon fiber to fit the center console's covering, and excellent aluminium gear shift paddles mounted just behind it. The instruments in the front are deeply cowled and handle in an attractive shade of blue, though we'd have preferred to get seen slightly finer font used to the numbers. The automatic gear lever doesn't look particularly good either, most famously because from the slab of silver trim around its base, and now we found it too very easy to overshoot reverse and select park because there are no defined steps or positions to the lever. At least the optional 8-way electrically adjustable seats on our test example meant it absolutely was easy for getting into the right driving position, as you move the seats themselves were particularly comfortable. Seat comfort great indeed. Ride is very good about the whole. Optional skyhook dampers. As a strong renown for sports cars where handling is vital 
Perhaps it will come being a surprise that comfort levels are won from the Maserati Ghibli's highlights. It seems to soak up bumps from the road with relative ease, as long because you've left the auto in comfort mode. Choose sport and everything becomes slightly tauter and jarring, but it's equally important to note the way the Ghibli rides depends heavily where model going for. We found the diesel felt a lot more settled on bumpier roads versus the petrol. It's for the motorway especially the spot that the Ghibli's damping impresses most though, and as well as very little wind, road or engine noise it proves to get a perfectly comfortable and capable cruiser. Drive the diesel and you also understand some clatter on start up, but this soon subsides and within the move it's very easy to forget that you're not in the petrol model. Even the 8-speed gearbox contributes on the Ghibli's comfort levels, with smooth changes, though we did notice some occasional hesitancy when pulling far away from junctions. Sat for the exquisite leather seats, which offer an abundance of adjustment, there's no qualms about comfort or support, they usually can be specified with heating or ventilation for added cost. Maserati's Skyhook adaptive damping strategy is standard on some models and optional on others, but we discovered that when sport is selected of these, the ride quality suffers on patchy roads. We think it is best to leave it in their normal setting for any more relaxed and compliant ride. 2017 saw an alternative cabin. Lots of normal equipment. Majors on luxury inside. Even the least expensive version with the Ghibli costs still around £50,000 before you decide to add options, so you are to certainly expect it being well equipped. The nice thing about it is that in comparison to many rivals it lets you do indeed boast some serious standard kit. Standard Maserati Ghibli Equipment The Ghibli comes in three levels, Ghibli, Ghibli Grand Lusso or Ghibli Grand Sport. All models can be purchased with all engines. Regardless which combination you decide on, all include at least 18-inch alloy wheels, the whole leather interior with electric front seats, and also a suite of advanced safety and driver assistance systems read more about that from the safety section. Opt for that extra Grand Lusso package and also your Ghibli will have adaptive LED headlights, chrome exterior detailing, body-colored side skirts, black brake calipers and 19-inch alloy wheels. The Grand Sport for the other hand, also includes adaptive LED headlights, but adds more aggressive-looking bumpers at the back and front, piano black exterior detailing in place on the Grand Lusso's chrome, red brake calipers and 20-inch alloy wheels. Inside, leather is standard along the Ghibli range with sports seats for your Grand Sport and even more luxurious chairs for that Grand Lusso, with inserts in Ermina Gildo's Egna silk and polished wood trim for the dashboard and center console. There's an 8.4-inch touchscreen infotainment system which you could possibly recognize from various Jeep models, and is included with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard. There's another 7.0-inch TFT display relating to the dials inside the instrument panel. Grand Lusso models also include soft-closed doors as well as a Harman Kardon premium sound system, while other Ghibli designs have a standard Harman Kardon audio system. Grand Sport incorporates piano black wood trim within the dashboard. Maserati Ghibli, optional accessories. If you're purchasing a Maserati Ghibli, then it's likely that you're going to wish to spend some time, effort and cash personalizing it slightly. The nice thing about it is Maserati has the trunk catalog of extras to produce that an easy, if sometimes expensive, job. If you need larger wheels that's possible. There's 19, 20 and 21 inch rims available, while painting the brake calipers is additionally an option. If you like extra bling then this polished aluminium finish costs more money, while adaptive sky hook dampers cost extra, too. As for bodywork metallic, mica, 
metlescent and pearlescent paint finishes are available, while a power sunroof might be specified. Inside the aluminium active shifting paddles behind the tire are worth the additional, while heated and ventilated front seats will also be added. If you're too lazy to regulate the steering column manually electrical adjustment is obtainable, as is undoubtedly an electric rear sunblind. Those they enjoy their tunes loud should invest within the Bowers and Wilkins Hi-Fi with 15 speakers, as well as for streaming for the move there's a Wi-Fi hotspot available. Alcantar headlining is extra, similar to Paltrona Frau leather covered seats, dashboard and door panels. If carbon fiber will be your thing a center console covered inside technical weave is usually specified while adding a thin band with this to the tire is extra again. There can be a number of packs which can be better value, such as convenience pack rear view camera and keyless entry and also the cold weather pack back and front seat heating, power rear sunshade and heated windscreen nozzles. Whatever way you slice it though. It's simple to get carried away while using Ghibli options list and that we'd wager than most making their way out from the factory will have at the least 5,000 pounds of extras combined with their base price. Comprehensive Safety Pack Incorporated 2017 Lots of driver assistance tech is standard. Ghibli is certainly a safe car they are driving in. This is the primary model on the firm for being scrutinized by Euro and Cap, plus the good news is the fact according to your testers Maserati Ghibli aspects first class, using a full 5 stars awarded. The executive saloon received particular praise for adult protection and safety assist, and received maximum points for infant protection inside rear. As you'd expect there's a switchable stability system which will keep things pointing within the right direction by reducing engine torque should it detect the wheels are spinning at different rates, indicating a skid. This system has since been upgraded to just one which aims in order to avoid any form of instability in the initial place, called Integrated Vehicle Control IVC. There's seven airbags, including one for that driver's knees as well as inside steering wheel whilst the front seat passenger has their unique frontal and side bags together with anti-whiplash headrests. All occupants take advantage of curtain airbags. As part on the car's updates to the 2018 model year, a suite of driver assistance systems were added. The active cruise control system now incorporates highway assist which keeps you at prescribed distance through the car in front, as well as keep you inside your lane via and keep assist and active blind spot assist. New cameras with the front from the car allow this ability, and this will watch traffic signs and inform the driver with a speed limit through the information display inside the instrument panel. Space less generous as the rivals. Not an issue if you're doing the driving. If you're not, it's your decision the quad report. As a five-seat, four-door saloon, that has a generously sized boot you might expect the Ghibli's practicality for being very good, and also to a degree it can be. Though you can find five seat belts provided, the trunk bench is sculpted more for just a pair of occupants as opposed to three as well as the transmission tunnel leads into foot room with a middle person quite significantly. At least there's a considerable amount of headroom back there, and legroom is acceptable for that size of car, however it's not of the same quality as the spine of a BMW 5 Series or Mercedes-Benz class. Up front from the cabin there's a big storage area having a double opening beneath your elbows inside the center console, however the iPod or USB connection located right in front of this has nowhere to stow your device satisfactorily. Add to which a glove box that is for the slim side and meager door pockets as well as its clear storage was not high for the designer's priority list. At almost 5 meters in total, the Ghibli is often a long car, but it's also wide. On the motorway you won't notice its heft, but on tighter urban roads or country lanes, 
there's only a whole lot it can cause by disguise its weight and size. That said, it using a range of cameras available about the Ghibli, maneuvering your vehicle shouldn't be too tricky, try to be mindful of how long it can be in smaller car parks. At 500 liters in dimensions, the Ghibli's boot is throughout the same type of size as the majority of its rivals, accessed by way of a slightly limited saloon bootlid, but that's also par with the course for this form of car. The boot is usually expanded, though, by folding on the rear seats. However, it is unlikely for being the style of car you'll be doing regular runs towards the tippin' in the weekend.